What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to another Jump Rope Lab episode, people, man, where I take your videos and we dissect it, we talk about it. Usually I give you guys some tips and some pointers, but now and then I will share a video where I think there's nothing really to add to it apart from just showing you guys the beauty of the skipping techniques on show. Today, I've got a really cool video sent to me by one of my RA athletes in Singapore. His name is Marcel, goes by the name of Universal Soldier. You'll see him somewhere here. The quality of this video, by the way, is absolutely insane. And there's, there's a lot to talk about, but today we're really showing you like the ideal way of doing your squat jumps. But Marcel's got so much incredible tech with his rope that he's, he's incorporated a massive combo within this. Really cool, really slick. And I'm gonna be pausing the video here and there and just taking you through small points, which I think if you take it away in your skipping game, when you're working out, when you're practicing your rope moves, you will literally take your game to the next level. And that is why we're here, people, man. Remember, if you wanna get featured or have a chance of getting featured on your Instagram videos, on your social media videos, please use the hashtag Jump Rope Lab. That'll give me a chance to check your videos out. Um, we browse through them daily, and hopefully there are gonna be some videos as well coming in the future where I just actually improve your technique. So um, listen, remember, if you're new to the channel, don't know what's going on, man. This is the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle. Copy your ropes, copy your mats, copy your apparel. Hit the links down below. We've got absolute yeah we just got absolutely the best ropes on the planet and um listen this is powered by the most incredible community out there so please hit that subscribe button it'll mean the world to me help this channel grow and this community as well it's very very uh, powerful what we're doing man so look i'm gonna get this up now i've been talking for a while but um this video like i said really high quality i'm gonna let it play through right it's 26 seconds it's an absolute killer combo incorporating squat jumps and you're gonna see him pushing in different moves in here and we'll talk it through Remember, this is not an easy fix. It's not going to like watching this video is only going to help you improve when you come to your thinking on how you're going to do your skipping. But you really need to put in the time and effort, a lot of time, a lot of practice, a lot of hard days getting slapped. All right. So let's roll this through because this it's just too sick, man. All right. Here we go. Look at the quality of this, man. Love this little location in Singapore, right? So he's going to bust in a few, few crossovers, double unders, and then he goes into this double under switch cross into the squat jumps, which is what we're going to really focus on today. And he's gonna throw in now the double under kind of cross jump squat, right? Which I've gone through this like move on this channel as well before. And then he finishes up very, very sick. I'll tell you that this is a very difficult combo, right? And I'm just gonna pull this one back now. And um, we're just gonna take through, take you through anyway, step by step. And this series, guys, I started this series like three, four years ago, about even longer now, five years ago when I started this channel. And it's a very powerful series because not only can you learn from people like Marcel, um, and like I said, when you share your videos, I give you guys pointers. The, the main point is this, like you have to try and find your own style, try and de like develop your own kind of way of the rope. Like this video that you're about to see, try and do it exactly like, I guess, Marcel, like the techniques are amazing, but don't forget like you're gonna have your own way of using the rope. So don't feel like it needs to be step by step. So let's do this now. We're gonna roll it through and um, I'm gonna keep pausing and everything with the video. So first off, right, we're not gonna, like I said, it's mainly about the squat jumps, but I just wanna talk to you about his his technique and his rope. You can see when he's he's skipping now, right? The fact that he's got his elbows locked back, right? Wrists in a really nice position. Then you're gonna see his ropes are, are really just tiny, like tiny clips on the floor. And this is really important. We're gonna just bring in a bit of like rope length, right? Because I talk about it in every single video, but if you're gonna try and get this done, you have to make sure your rope is not too long and obviously not too short, so you can keep it looking nice and slick. We keep it rolling now, double under cross, double under switch cross into the squat jump. Now, I'm just gonna roll this one back, right? I'm just gonna use the cursor here, right? To just try and slow this down. Now I'm gonna bring out a tutorial on the actual double under switch cross for you. I've already got the switch cross by itself with like a boxer step, but check this out, right? So he was doing double unders and he's gonna jump into this now, this little switch cross move. So you cross your arms, okay? And in midair, you gotta, again, switch your arms to the other side and go into another cross. It's an absolute killer, killer move. And there you can see that happening there. As he does this, right, he's gonna land into a squat. So it's quite similar to the Teofimo um, Lopez tutorial. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. I've done a tutorial where I, I took his move 
um, and kind of adjusted it and went from a double under cross into a squat jump. This is now with a switch, right? So you've got to come down and what the key is here is you don't want your knees buckling in. So what Marcel does here really nicely because he's got a lot of strength, you can see he's got some good leg gains, man. Good calf muscles here. The knees at this point, you can see really nice, really nice and not buckling in. You can see he's really engaging the, the glutes and his quads, calves. And then from here, what we're going to do, right, is he goes into a side swing and then hop into that squat, right? Now here, what's, what's really important, what you got to really think about when you're doing your squats, people, is when you're going down low into your squats, a lot of people, a lot of beginners, what they tend to do is they tend to kind of like go half-hearted squats, right? So it doesn't look as, it, you're not getting the most out of the workout, first of all. It's not looking as slick. It's going to look a little bit like awkward and it's actually going to put you more off balance because if you don't commit to the squat going down low, right? So come here, look how low he gets to the floor here. You're getting most for the workout by doing your squats like this. Even if you train in the gym, like this is, you know, obviously they say try and get like parallel with your legs on the floor. And also what he's doing here is engaging his core, keeping that back nice and straight. It's a really, really good way to squat jump. Um, I've got loads of tutorials again on squat jumps. I've got tutorials on all these kind of separate moves. But why this is nice is because he's gone in from a, another combination, which is what makes it even more difficult. So when it comes to his side swing cross, uh, um, sorry, his side swings and his, and his squat jumps, like I said, he's now really important. He's staying on the balls of his feet. You can see it there. I'm just going to pause it and then roll it through there. You see he's taking most of the force on the balls of the feet, which then engages the calf muscles even more. He's not falling back on his heels. And that's really important when you're, when you're doing your skipping workouts, when you're trying to do these little moves and combinations, take a look at videos, take a look in the mirror, see how your posture and if your heels are coming back, if you're falling backwards off balance, it's gonna be probably to do with the fact that you don't engage your core or you're not staying on the balls of your feet. The speed here, by the way, is amazing. I'm gonna roll this through again in its entirety later on. But this is all looking really cool. And I just want to highlight one more point here. This little move here again another move that i've already shown on this channel but what's nice about this right is when you take off to do this double under cross squat now just look at look at the force he's putting into the ground let's look at his calves here really really cool he then goes into the cross and then landing and then when you land you just got to bring your hands to the side and continue the side swings sick move man and the way he's just doing this like i said the posture the back's nice and straight you can see he's breathing very very composed man and i'm just gonna roll this a little bit quicker now here it's all just amazing, like how he's done this. A really cool point to mention as well is actually where he is on the slabs on the pavement. Okay, so maybe we'll get a little arrow in there. He hasn't moved from this, these two little slabs. And that's really important. When you're doing these squat jumps, a lot of people, a lot of beginners are just gonna tend to kind of flow or sway side to side simply because they can't control the speed of the rope and their body. So keep that in mind, man. Staying in the same place is really nice. And then he kind of finishes up by coming back up and just doing a little boxer step and a nice little rope throw because he's bossing it. People, man, like it's it's really worth checking these videos back. I'm gonna keep playing this now in the background. Um, it's worth just watching people like Marcel, watching my videos, like I said, because sometimes you can digest a lot of information by just, I guess, the visual side of skipping. When you see someone with techniques like this or my own techniques sometimes on the channel when you're watching, like it's worth really, like I keep saying, not trying to imitate or replicate step by step, but you can really see the faults in where you're starting as well as a beginner. So this video was all about squat jumps. Marcel, you're an absolute boss. Thank you so much for sending that, that clip in, man. I really wanted him to basically do this for us because usually I go outside, show you guys the, the tips, the improvements, try and fix people's videos out there. But having these kind of videos come through, is very, very useful. And I'm going to try and keep getting it like more and more in as more moves come up and more combinations come up i really want to celebrate the skills of this community and i hope you guys enjoyed that video man we've got a nice new cool new setup here your boy's not wearing no sunglasses got to keep probably probably with the third video i've mentioned this now but i feel a little bit naked hopefully you like it <laughs> drop a comment let me know if you like the no sunglass rush or you just don't want to see my eyes but anyway uh listen leave me a comment drop a like be really useful as i always say man help this channel grow help this community grow we're taking over the cardio game people remember go shop on amazon your local amazon or check our website down below we ship worldwide and we have the greatest if not the best ever speed ropes ever created and um i'm really proud man because trust me we're getting so many people flying boss out there and enjoying cardio again and that is what the mission was all about so i'll check you in the next video as always people take care yourself skip the treadmill stay safe peace